Hi, Private Readers. It's Private Writer today with another video. And today I want to be telling you why I personally love 13 Reasons Why. I have been watching this show since it came out on Netflix um, in 2017. I forgot the year, but yes, I have been watching it uh, since it came out. And I read the book before that in 2015. Um, and I enjoyed it, and the show was even better than the book because the subject matter to me was, uh, well, first off, first off, the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people I know don't like it for like a thousand different reasons, but, um, uh, me and several of my friends, uh, mainly this one, we enjoy it because we kind of like really understand like what's going on in it or whatever, like we, we get the subject matter and we get what they're trying to do. And we also, we relate. So anyway, today we're just going to be talking about several things that go into why I enjoy it and why I cannot wait for season 3 and eventually 4. So, the first thing is that it is realistic. To me, this show is one of the most realistic shows I've ever watched. I do like to watch a lot of fiction that's kind of just fake or whatever, like you obviously wouldn't see it happening in real life. Or just something that hasn't happened yet, but I do enjoy the show for its realness because, um... It's in the high school setting. If you didn't know what the show was about, it's about a girl named Hannah Baker who kills herself and basically she writes these, she writes, she records these 13 tapes for all the people who caused it, uh, you know, caused it uh, in her eyes or whatever. So basically it's that's the premise and it's just the book was just the first season and then it extended several other seasons after. But basically I, I think that it's phenomenal. I think it's a great show and I... I think it's really real. It's really real because it has a lot of real situations, um, a lot of things that are really raw and really not sugarcoated at all. I feel like people get so used to watching sugarcoated things that when they see something that's really real, that's like realistic, they're like, I don't like that. Like, please keep it away from me. The show is very, um, it's very dark. It's very not even really dark. It's just kind of really messed up. A lot of messed up stuff happens to a lot of good people in that show and they have trigger warnings and everything when something really bad is about to happen or even mildly bad is about to happen they have trigger warnings and the episodes and the second season um they started to put uh videos at the beginning of i'm not sure if it was every episode but at least at the beginning of the first one that basically tells you like if you are too like if you're sensitive to any of this if you're going to be triggered by any of this like actually triggered um like not just upset or whatever then don't watch it because it is very heavy and stuff at times and that's just how it is i i personally i did used to relate sort of to the whole suicidal teen thing and I'm still in high school so I kind of I get the high school setting and all that stuff too but now that I'm out of the suicidal stage uh, that I had in my life um I can relate from afar like I remember that I remember like going through the similar feelings and stuff that she was going through so I can understand but at the same time that show just addresses a lot of the things that people don't talk about when it comes to people who are suicidal and people who did do end up killing themselves it it explains like what other people go through like it shows what your family go through what people who didn't like you and people who do like you go through it just it really expands and shows a lot other than just girl who committed suicide and I really appreciate that about it um but I I personally think that it's doing more help than not help than harm and I think it should continue airing I'm glad that it is um because I do enjoy it the main reason why I enjoy it is because it's entertaining to me it's very dramatic and very um and when I say dramatic, it's only dramatic because it's like actually stuff happens like this and it's kind of just like a raw high school setting, you know. And a lot of like really, really heavy topics and stuff um, are like piled on top of that and it's really entertaining for me to watch. It's, it's funny, it's wholesome, it's sad. Um, I've cried multiple times. Um, I've laughed a lot though too, so it's not like all bad darkness, like sadness. It's not all like that. But I really like it. I really, I think it's fun. I think I like the drama of it. I like the freaking conflicts and stuff. I think it's really interesting. So that's the main reason why I watch it. But also because it does just show you like what other people go through when somebody that they care about or didn't care about commits suicide. And then it like has these other questions that starts coming out like because some of the characters that do really bad things, you know, other people who are affected, what happens to them now? Am I gonna do something now because it's killed this girl? It's just like so much stuff. I really like the show and I can't wait for season three. I've been waiting for a while, so I'm glad it's finally coming out. It's gonna be finally coming out this month. Um, and I'm definitely gonna be um 
I already reacted to the trailer myself, but uh, I probably will come out with a recap at the end of it because I'm pretty sure on Netflix they just release everything in the same day and you can just watch it. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to um, like post a recap, review, whatever for the people who do care and do like it. So yeah, that was basically my explanation as to why I like this show, which no one asked for, but I decided to give anyway, just in case someone else likes it and feels the same way as me and just kind of feels alone because a lot of people, like the vast majority of people that I know hate it. So anyway, that was my explanation. I hope you guys enjoyed this show, and if you don't, sorry. But um, anyway, I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this video, most and foremost. Uh, and I love you. See you there with another video. Bye.